I'm Jim Kircher, and sometimes we take a road trip to get a story, but that usually means maybe driving a few hours. But for this first story, our filmmaker in residence, Frank Popper, actually traveled 6,700 miles one way to go to one of the last places we would have ever expected to go. He went to meet some people in Kyrgyzstan. And he didn't really go so he could bring back a story to St. Louis. He actually went to bring a St. Louis story to them. Be honest, when you found out where you were going, did you have to look at a map? <laughs> I did. I did have to look at a map. I wasn't even sure that I heard of Kyrgyzstan before. There's so many stands out there. The staff at the U.S. Embassy in the capital of Bishkek thought that young audiences in this former Soviet Republic would want to see the Nine Network's documentary, Gentlemen of Vision. They had it subtitled in Russian. Anywhere, but keep moving. Let's go. It's about the members of the champion St. Louis High School step team, many from at-risk backgrounds, and how their coach, guide, and mentor, Marlon Wharton, prepares them for competitions and for success in life. So the film's director, Frank Popper, got on a plane. Actually, he had to get on a lot of planes. Pretty much exactly on the other side of the world. Four, four separate carriers, left on a Thursday, got there on a Saturday, so. I was sleep deprived and by the time I got there, it was such a fresh, new, strange, exotic land that uh, I, uh, well, I think I was, I, I just started drinking coffee and I suddenly started thinking more clearly. Yeah. So. And while Frank was able to see a lot of dramatic scenery in this country, visit the main marketplace in the capital and sample the food, he was there to do a job as a cultural envoy meeting with young people and aspiring filmmakers, and talking about the people he brought with him on film, the young men of St. Louis, Missouri, USA. Right now, we're gonna be struggling. I wish I could ask my parents for money. I wish I could have my dad around. And the U.S. Embassy staff was right. While Kyrgyzstan is about as far from St. Louis as you can get in so many ways, the story did hit close to home. They saw something in these kids from Riverview Gardens that they saw in themselves. But now you assume that I'm just not going to graduate. I didn't assume a thing. I'm asking you, let me stop. Here's how this happened. The documentary was seen at a film festival and chosen to be part of the State Department's 2019 American Film Showcase. Every year, about 40 films about American society and culture are sent to embassies and consulates around the world. And if they're interested, the filmmakers are brought in to show the film, lead discussions, and run filmmaking workshops. And a year ago, Frank, GOV coach Marlon Wharton and I went to South America. We showed the film to audiences in Colombia. They connected with the story, and we found unexpected connections with them as well. But Kyrgyzstan? You're talking about Central Asia, you're talking about a Muslim nation for the most part, different ethnic groups, really no connection historically or culturally in my mind to the United States. The folks at the embassy who looked at the screeners for all the films that they could have chosen uh, for the American Film Showcase this year, most of them agreed that Gentleman of Vision was perfect for them. I, you know, I'm still kind of struggling with what the appeal was with all the options, but uh, even the kids themselves at, at some of the uh, places said, you know, when we first heard about the film, it wasn't the kind of thing we thought we would be interested in. But once the film got started, they fell in love with the characters, they fell in love with the story. And my mother, she started saving money and said, you know what, we, we got to get out of this neighborhood right now. So she said that she, her name is Jarkanai, and she was also inspired and moved by this movie because it's like a team, it's like a family. Uh, for example, if one of the dance group members are in trouble, the whole team helps him and also supports him to overcome those troubles and problems. And then the, the success should be achieved slowly by steps, and then you'll be able to achieve it. They really put you to work there. This they did. was not 
they a did. tourist vacation to Central Asia. No, no. I was totally exhausted by the end of the trip. I mean, I spent probably more time traveling to these far-flung places, just getting there four or five, six hours in a car. And I was warned before we went out on tour that I was going to be uh, seeing more of the country than most people who live there their whole lives see. There are seven districts in all of Kyrgyzstan, and uh, we went to five of them. It was just so different. The screenings and discussions took place at American Corners. These are cultural centers run by the U.S. Embassy, offering programs, exhibits, classes, highlighting American culture and history and government. There are hundreds of these around the world. Kyrgyzstan has eight, and Frank went to six of them. Looking at your, your daily reports, one of your trips, you said the day's screening was held in the Osh region library. They were hoping to get 70, they got 150. They got 150. An American film, frankly, nobody had ever heard of. No, exactly. And I'm, But I, I was just absolutely amazed to see uh, all those people there. I just want to say thank you. I love all y'all. This ain't just no step team. It's a brotherhood. This was something that they kept bringing up. It's amazing how when you come together, you can achieve something as a group. Uh, that you can individually, and for some reason that's, that really resonated with them. You know, here, you're just one of many filmmakers, independent filmmakers, yeah. right? There, they kind of gave you the rock star treatment. They did, and I couldn't quite figure that one out, and one of the hosts there, Cholpan, was telling me, you know, um, this is probably the first time in their lives that they've ever, not, I mean, They've all seen movies, but to actually be in the presence of the filmmaker is something very special to them. It wasn't enough just to get selfies. They had to get my autograph. And, and, and press coverage. Oh my God, the press coverage was amazing. We wound up getting a national broadcast on the, you know, the daily news that day. But America is a big thing to the Kyrgyz, you know. So to have an opportunity to meet an American who's working in the industry uh, is a really special thing for them. The amazing thing I think about this whole experience is that I got to see the State Department up close and personal. I had no idea, you know, you think of the State Department, you think of ambassadors around the world, and you know, a place where they all work and, and receptions that's it. and conferences receptions and, all and things that. like that. But there are there are people working at these embassies by the hundreds in, in countries around the world working with people at all levels uh, to try to share American culture with them in, in ways that I had no idea. This is a St. Louis story, but I imagine in Kyrgyzstan they did not know St. Louis. And yet here's a story coming out of the middle of America um, that resonates with people in Central Asia. I mean, go figure. You know, the, th the thing that I find amazing about this whole thing is that the, the whole spectrum of, of, uh, of the audiences that could get something new out of this story goes all the way from Kyrgyzstan to Riverview Gardens' own backyard. And apparently it has struck a universal chord uh, that, um, that's made it a profoundly um, moving experience, as you know, for the both of us to be, to be able to tell it. The future is in whose hands? Ours. Can't hear you. Ours. Are we ready to practice? Yes, sir. Are we ready to practice? Yes, sir. Are we ready to practice? Yes, sir. All right, boot camp, baby, let's do it. <laughs> 